Hey everyone, Isaac Cheekin here, and um, today I found a prediction for the 2021 um, NFL season and the schedules, and I decided I'm going to do a reaction video to it and see if I agree with this guy or not. Okay, so here we go. Welcome to the third annual schedule predictions, the record predictions. I Sorry, I don't have Wednesday the equipment night, to um, of schedule release show both uh, of screens at the same we time like a lot schedule. of the pros do. We are going to be picking all 272 games. That's right. It's going to be the biggest NFL season of all time. 18 regular season weeks, 17 games. Not a lot's changed. You know, you'll still yeah. play your division rivals twice, home and home. You'll play one of your conference rivals, a division of your conference. You do that once every three years, one of the adjoining divisions in the AFC or NFC. Yeah, you'll do right that now, he's just years. explaining the changes. And then you got one bonus game. Like, if you're the top seed, Chiefs, Packers, they're playing each other. So, let's not waste any more time. Let's get to the schedule. And I want to thank everybody for this setup. I know that some people have commented about our setup. I think this looks, this looks nice. Okay, this so is what okay. happens when you pick the 49ers to go 3-13 and 13 two years ago. This is the schedule. This is Rich Eisen. It's the big studio. We get this. Let's pull up week one. Talk about it. There it is. As tradition, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers will be playing host. As the defending Super Bowl champions will be playing the Dallas Cowboys. I don't know. It feels like there should have been another game here. I don't know. I don't know if Aaron Rodgers messed it up or not, but we have Dak Prescott returning after last year's crushing injury. Tom Brady will be playing for the fifth time in a season opener after a They need to get rid of that criminal and get a real quarterback. 2017, when they were destroyed by the Chiefs, but the Bucs returned all 22. Tom Brady, 14 and 4 in his career in week one. Stop praising the criminal. He has not lost consecutive week one games. Give me the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in this one. No. Jacksonville playing Houston. Now, we don't know what is going to be happening with Deshaun Watson. I'm going to move through this as if Deshaun Watson is not playing for the Houston Texans. I just think that's a safe assumption, at least in the first half of the year. This is a perfect game for Trevor Lawrence to get his first win of the season. Give me the Jags. I agree. I think that Jacksonville will Washington defeat the Texans. FC playing host to the Los Angeles Chargers. FT won the division last season, being sub-500. They've added Ryan Fitzmagic. Give me a little Washington FT. We'll do the no. win right there. The Indianapolis Colts will be playing host to the Seattle Seahawks. A lot of quarterback drama in this one. Carson Wentz joining a new team, but going back with Frank Reich. Russell Wilson wanted out of Seattle. Give me the Colts. I think the Colts are going to okay, be a big, yeah. they're a low-key good team. They're quietly adding good players. Give me the Colts in that one. I would say, All yeah. Right. Immediately, that. Sam Darnold revenge game. This is his best chance. We know what happened. He left Adam Gase. The Panthers are going to smash the Jets in that one. Was able to do without Adam Gase. I like the marriage of Sam Darnold with Joe Brady. You know what? Give me the Carolina Panthers in this one. And no, I'm yeah, not going to okay, on the thank Jets. You. I think the Jets are going to have a very good offense. I love this. I kind of like this Jets team. But as you no. start looking through the schedule, it's going to be kind of tough for them as we move yeah. on. The Cincinnati Bengals playing host to the Minnesota Vikings. There's a change at the coordinator position for the Vikings. The Bengals were expecting uh. Joe Burrow to be back. They got Jamar Chase. I think this Bengals team is pretty frisky. And I'm already going to annoy the Vikings fans. Give me the Bengals. I don't care. I Vikings, say Vikings by two, uh, by a 14, the Vikings. two no touchdowns. Um, <laughs> like, do you think I'm going to lie to you? Tennessee Titans, speaking of teams that I don't like, no, I'm kidding. Fans I don't like, whatever. Tennessee Titans playing host to the Arizona Cardinals in this one. They haven't played since 2017. Of course, Tennessee Titans will be without offensive coordinator Arthur Smith, who is now the head coach of the Atlanta Falcons. Still believe that they have enough. This is going to be a tough road game. For the Arizona Cardinals. Give me the Titans in this one. Pretty okay, frisky yeah, team. I, I like agree. It. Jared Goff is moving on to Detroit. But welcome to your new team. You got to play your, a team you, you're very familiar with. The San Francisco 49ers, a team that is very healthy right now. Last the Lions year, the will smash the Niners. Set by injuries, including injuries to Nick Bosa, amongst other players. 
Give me the 49ers in this. No. Uh -uh. I know the 49er fans want to pick just three wins for them, but you know what? Got to keep it real. All right. Uh. Bills, Steelers. The Bills handled the Steelers at the end of the regular season on their way to the playoffs. Steelers are still going with Big Ben. Is that is that a thing? I think Buffalo is one of the best teams in the NFL. Their no. fans are worried that I'm disrespecting them. I will not disrespect them here. Give me the Buffalo no. Bills. I think Let's that was a fluke. The Falcons Steelers have it. Playing host to the Philadelphia Eagles. First game for Arthur Smith, for Nick Sirianni, who you might have heard. We What do we know about Nick Sirianni? Like, he, he likes to do Rochambeau. Like, I just want a Rochambeau to see who wins. Rock, paper, scissors, Falcons. All right, give me the Falcons in that one. That one, one I'd have to do the, the same with toss up. Chiefs playing host to the Cleveland Browns. These might be the two best. Okay, teams this guy better pick the, the Chiefs. If he does, he if he doesn't, he loses they all the credibility. Of the conference last year. I don't think I'm going. I don't think I'm. I'm. I'm telling tales out of school to say that the Browns are a very good team. Had a very nice offseason, but still, the Chiefs they lost the Super Bowl. They're coming back focused. They've rebuilt the offensive line, which was the problem in that big game. Give me the Chiefs to be victorious in this one. Okay, so he one does one. have some common Miami sense. Man, Good. Oh, no, wait. Packers, Saints. Packers, Saints. Ooh, now, last another toss-up. Aaron Rodgers, Drew Brees. This year, who's it, Blake Bortles? You guys are signing Blake Bortles. Again, uh, I, okay, no, I it's the know, Packers. I don't know who the quarterback's going to be. You don't know who the quarterback's going to be. And if you don't think that Aaron Rodgers is petty enough to sit out an entire year, you're mistaken. So you got Blake Bortles, maybe Jordan Love going up against Jameis Winston, Ian Book. Who knows? Give me the Saints. I'm going to take the Saints. No. All right? Not Let's if, go. Not if the Saints Broncos, are going with Bortles. Um, listen, we're, we're talking about Aaron Rodgers. Could he be the quarterback of the Denver Broncos? That could be a possibility. That's a team that's rumored. Uh, Brandon Perna, I think everybody knows him. He loves – Every day I would say Broncos over Giants, but I do game. not think Rodgers is going to Denver. Broncos winning this game. Uh, Dolphins, okay, <sighs> Dolphins and uh, New England. The Dolphins actually Dolphins lost the deflate to cheat New England rips. last season in week one. The, the, the Patriots were ready for them. I think the Dolphins get them this year. I'm really bullish on the Dolphins. We'll yeah. see this play out. I would say the, next, the Dolphins pull off so uh, we're doing victory. These predictions. Uh, here it is. This is what everybody's tuning in for. Like, the Patriots can't win without cheating anyway. The so. Bears and the Rams. I don't think I would like Justin Fields to start week one. I think the people at NBC would love to see Justin Fields starting in week one. I do believe it's going to be Andy Dalton. We do expect it to be Matthew Stafford, though. The last time we saw Matthew Stafford play the Bears, he rallied the team, almost knocked us out of the playoffs. And I said, almost, like, look, at, I'm a biased Bears fan. You guys know this about me already. I'm going to pick the Rams, though. I think this is it. I think for Sean McVay, no. this is his opportunity. Look, Chicago's got L.A. beat. If you're the genius, there's no you way. think you are. You have no more excuses. You've got your quarterback. you got to start winning games like this. No. Give me the Rams. No, the Bears. Whatever. Monday night football. Only one Monday night game this year. Uh, the Raiders playing host of the Baltimore Ravens. The Raiders have won two consecutive week, or two consecutive week one openers. The Baltimore Ravens have won five. And I think this is a very good team. Give me the Ravens. I don't know. I don't feel great about it. I think this is one. Change my mind. Maybe Aaron Rodgers could end up going on. Ravens and Raiders. Yeah, I'll I'd say the Ravens. Vegas Raiders. All right, let's go through to week two. If we can switch that over, the Thursday night football game will be the Giants. Washington FT. The Giants have won five consecutive games over the I've got the Giants with here. this one. We've got the New York Jets taking on the New England Patriots. Oh, my gosh. I don't want to clown the Jets. I think this is a perfect opportunity yeah. for them to go out there and get a win. But I'm still going to lean towards the New England Patriots. I'm going to say the Jets. The, Broncos, the Patriots are not that undefeated. good. Well, they're 1-0. Going up against the Jags, who are undefeated. I know Duval's at home, but give me the Broncos. In that uh, one, Bills and Dolphins. I might have had a good note for this one. But Broncos what? and Jaguars is a toss-up. Miami last year in week two. So once again, I'll just go. It's a trend now. The Bills. Give me the Bills right here. San Francisco at the Philadelphia Eagles. I think I can save a lot of time. We don't know what's up with Nick Sirianni. I don't know what to expect from this team. It is going to be very difficult for me to win games, especially against good teams like the San Francisco 49ers. Give me the Niners. 
and the Rams uh, Eagles again, they need to win these maybe by a field goal, but the Sean Eagles McVay is the genius that we all believe that he is. I'm going to take the Colts in this one. Colts go. Thank undefeated. you. Colts are undefeated. To open the Colts the year, would smash the Rams. That's all right. Who do we got here? Who Who is next? So we got, um, just looking, Steelers, Raiders. I'm pretty sure I'm taking the Steelers in this one. I know. Yeah, uh, I'd say the Steelers. I'm excited about the Steelers, and I don't like the idea of the Raiders starting off 0-2, but I think Pittsburgh at home, even though I don't have a lot of confidence in what they've done over the offseason, give me the Steelers. We can do that. Andy Dalton revenge game for the Chicago Bears. That's an easy one. They get their first win of the season. They go to 1-1. One one. The Bengals level up to one and one as well. Browns Bears and Brown, uh, Bears a and a Bengals Sam is Donald. a toss up. Could he improve the two and zero? Browns and Texans. Really really that's really another like toss up. This Panthers team. I think that they're very sneaky. I think they've got a lot of good offensive weapons. I think DJ Moore. I think Saints Karras and Panthers is going to be a good player for them. I'd go with the, the Saints Panthers in this uh, one. Arizona no. going up against the Minnesota Vikings. Vikings, no, no contest. Get their footing. To me, the Minnesota Vikings are the biggest wild card of this entire season. They have a lot of guys returning. You know, they lost Tony Barr. They lost some other players on the defensive side of the football last year who could return healthy. Dalvin Cook has been very good over the last couple of years, but I think that the momentum is starting to build in Arizona. I don't see the Cardinals starting off 0-2. I can see it from the Vikings. Give me the Cardinals no. in that one. Tampa Bay Buccaneers against the Atlanta Falcons. The Falcons, Falcons are going to It's terrible. Their secondary, especially, and of course, Keanu Neal is now a member of the Dallas Cowboys. This is an easy one. Give me the Tampa Bay Buccaneers all day in this one. No. Seattle, Tennessee. The Buccaneers need to get rid of that criminal and get a real quarterback. Unfold, but I think the Seattle Seahawks have enough to get it done against the Titans. Titans at home. You know, it's one of those things. If the Titans were at home, I would have picked them, but I'm thinking the Seahawks right there. I agree with the that Cowboys one. Cowboys have a very tough start. Of the season, and this the Clown Boys won't win more franchises. than two games. And I look at Mike McCarthy. The Dallas Clown Boys are worthless. I think this is going to be the first win for Brandon Staley. Give me the home team right here, Los Angeles Chargers, winning this one. Unfortunately, I, I agree. A, uh, yeah, that, that's that was one of the toughest ones for me. Now, Kansas City, Baltimore. The Chiefs have gotten the best of this rivalry. The Chiefs are going to smash the Ravens. It's zero and three against Patrick Mahomes in his lifetime. He's 31-7 and seven in other starts. But give me the Chiefs in this one, taking this Thank one. Going you. on the road, I know. My son, by the way, my son is doing this. My two-year-old boy, Wedge, is circling the teams. Give him a hand. Uh, let him know that you appreciate what he's able to do. My daughter, Ahsoka, is over there just kind of watching, making sure everything's going okay. Uh, the Monday night game, Packers, Detroit. Listen, this went from Aaron Rodgers. You know what? I think I'm just going to do the first two Goff. weeks and split this up into Rams separate uh, episodes. I don't know. Like, who knows what's going to go on with these Packers players. and Lions? Uh, yeah, I agree with the Packers. Match. What is the Thursday night game? Is it, okay. is it Carolina? Well, that's the end of them. Um, the first two weeks, I'll do them. Um, weeks three and four next time. But, uh... People really need to stop praising that cheating criminal Tom Brady. He's not that good. But I agree with him with most of these. But yeah, no. That's pretty much it. I I think the Colts will start off as 2-0. and I'd say the... I'd say New England deflate cheat rates... Oh and two. I don't think they can get past the first two weeks. They can't win without cheating. Forty Niners. Uh, they already proved that two years ago was a fluke. I don't see them doing very well. But that's pretty much the main highlights from there. All right. See you next time. Bye.